Hello there, and welcome to this week's episode of the Anti-Aging Insights Podcast. Happy New Year. If you are listening to this on the day that this podcast is being released, it is January 2nd, 2024. I hope you had a wonderful New Year's. I hope you've had a wonderful holiday season, and I wish you all the best for the upcoming year. Today, we are continuing our journey down the face in a discussion about the different muscles that we can treat with neuromodulator. We have covered a lot of the common muscles over the past number of episodes. Today, we are focusing on the mentalis muscle, which is a muscle down in the middle of the chin. We're going to talk a little bit about the anatomy of this muscle. We're going to talk a little bit about what the muscle does and why you might want to get this treated with neuromodulator. And then I'll just briefly talk a little bit about the process itself, which is, spoiler alert, a pretty quick procedure to have done. So again, if you've not listened to the other series, we talk about some of the other more common muscles that we treat, including the forehead, the brow, around the eyes, and even working our way down to the lips. And again, today we are working our way further down towards the chin. So let's get right into it today. We are talking about the mentalis muscle. Now the mentalis muscle is actually a pair of muscles that sits down in the middle of the chin on top of your mandible, your jawbone. The mentalis actually attaches to the mandible, to the bone of the jaw in the middle, and then the other side of the muscle attaches to the skin of the chin. The mentalis is a paired muscle, so you have two muscles in the middle of the chin which are running vertically next to each other. They sort of fan out a little bit in the shape of a V as you go a little bit further up the chin towards the top of the jaw. But nevertheless, there is a pair of muscles there. And what do they do? Well, they help to control your facial expression in that area. In particular, when you pout, you can see these muscles working. What people often want to get treated with regards to the mentalis is the dimpling of the skin. This has a couple of different names. It is sometimes known as cobblestoning of the chin. It can be known as dimpling. Some people have described it as a peau d'orange, which is the texture of an orange peel. And you can see this right in the middle of the chin of some people when they make that pouting expression. And that is precisely the type of lines and wrinkling and dimpling that some people want to treat when they have their neuromodulator treatments. Now, just for the record here, when I mention neuromodulator, I am talking about the different brands, which include Botox, Nuceva, Dysport, Zeomin. They can all be used to treat this dimpling of the chin. And like I've mentioned previously, neuromodulator works by relaxing the muscle. So when we inject a couple of units of the neuromodulator, regardless of which brand it is, into any muscle, that causes the muscle to relax. As a result, you get less wrinkling, less dimpling, less creases in the overlying skin, of course, relevant to whichever area of the face you are injecting. In the case of the mentalis, when we inject those two muscles, you have a relaxing of that muscle and hence you get less dimpling of the chin. And this is something that a lot of people want to have treated. It is not as common as, for example, treating the forehead horizontal lines or treating the 11s, the vertical lines in between the eyebrows or treating the crow's feet along the sides of the eyes. But this can be a very popular treatment, particularly for those that notice this dimpling of the chin. How is this done? Well, part of it is doing a good thorough assessment as it is with any neuromodulator treatment. I like to look at the whole face. I like to make sure that things are balanced. I like to make sure that we're doing things in a safe way, in a very customized way, and in a way that appears natural. And so when you come to see me, I ask you to do a couple of different facial expressions. We look at how your muscles move in the face. And of course, this is relevant to the mentalis muscle as well. I get you to pout. I get you to make some of those expressions that accentuate some of the features of the lower face. And then we decide on the appropriate dosing. Typically, it's a few units into each of the mentalis muscles. As I mentioned, it's a paired muscle, so we do have to inject each side of the muscle to make sure that it is symmetrical. And the actual procedure takes 10, 15 seconds. It's literally two tiny needles injections into each side of the the chin where the two mentalis muscles are. And of course, this can be combined with other neuromodulator treatments in other areas of face. 
but the actual mentalis treatments don't take more than a few seconds. And that's it. It takes a few days for the effects of the neuromodulator to kick in. It then takes approximately a week to 10 days to see the full effect of the neuromodulator. And then it can last approximately three months before you can come back and you can have that done again. And so that's all there is to it when it comes to the mentalis muscle. If you have that dimpling of the chin, if you know somebody that has the dimpling of the chin and perhaps it bothers them a little bit or they want to do it as part of a whole facial neuromodulator treatment to smooth out the face, then I encourage you to reach out. I'm always delighted to do this treatment. It's a lot of fun to see the results and see the, the smiles on people's faces when they come back after having these types of treatments. You can always reach me at antiagingvancouver.com. You can reach me on my own website at drterryfisher.com. Or you can always reach me on Instagram at drterryfisher. And that's D-R-T-E-R-I-F-I-S-H-E-R. Thank you again for tuning in this week. It's the kickoff to 2024. I'm looking forward to a wonderful year. Stay tuned for lots more social media stuff coming from me. I've got some big plans this year, and I will be revealing those uh, shortly. So definitely stay tuned. And if you're not following me on any social media platforms, then reach out, and I'm sure you can find me. My name, Dr. Terry Fisher, is pretty much my handle on all the main uh, social media platforms. So once again, I hope you have a wonderful 2024. Happy New Year, and I will talk to you again very soon.